time to do a little catching up on the videos now that I have some reasonable internet uh, the uploads are kind of slow the videos take quite a while to get up to YouTube but at least I don't have to pay for all the data bandwidth and uh, got the problems resolved with uh, uploading the videos since I actually have a whole new computer now so that's been rectified yeah there's a lot of catching up to do but for now I'm just going to focus on the ground mount array this array is uh, quite different than the array that I had in Idaho where I had a, a fairly large pole barn and installed 99 panels on top of that barn those panels were a lot smaller than these uh, they didn't put out nearly as much power but they were very efficient they were very good panels um, this particular ground mount system is from uh, I think it's called Iron Ridge and it's a kit they actually have a little module on their website where you just plug in what types of panels you're using uh, how many your strings and so on it'll just spit out a configuration for you parts list everything and uh, the only thing that you then have to buy on top of that is the actual iron pipe in this case this is three inch schedule 40 iron pipe and I don't know why but they come in strange lengths they're 21 feet so maybe it's metric based I don't know but uh, I kind of altered the configuration a little bit um, for one thing I ha actually had two separate types of configurations one was uh, for three panels uh, on the columns instead of four which would have extended this ground mount out fairly significantly and I was kind of running out of real estate here and it also increased the cost so I went with uh, four panels column which meant that I had to kind of change the strings around since these are three panel strings I did the string three panels down on each one of these and then on the bottom I got three panels going across the bottom it just made it much more efficient uh, cost wise work wise and on top of that I then since the pipes were 21 feet long I just went ahead and kept kept the overall length 42 feet so these actually stick out a bit I figured I might be able to use that for something so the other thing was uh, they will actually give you the specs on what types of holes to drill and then fill up with concrete this ground is very hard very rocky um, I could not afford to have these holes drilled uh, it's going to cost at least eight thousand dollars so what I did instead was just have a, a track hoe come out dig some holes and then uh, fill them fill them up with a large amount of concrete so they're not quite as deep as the specs called for but since the ground is so hard uh, so layered with rock and there's so much concrete in there about one and a half yards per post uh, along with uh, rebar uh, I, I really doubt this thing's going anywhere uh, I suspect these panels will tear off before those those posts move so <clears throat> the uh, Iron Ridge I'm quite happy with it I've never used another system before this is only my second array that I put up like I said the first one going on top of a barn roof but it was a lot of work but it's turned out nicely makes a great place for storage oh, say, say hi to the wife uh, if you have any questions on it let's see here what could I go over on on this it, it's really quite simple to put together the, the directions are pretty decent um, it's just a matter of getting it laid out according to the specs uh, pouring your concrete 
and just putting it together. These pipes are really heavy. I was told it's uh, eight pounds per foot, so you're probably going to want some help. And then the panels themselves, though they're not real heavy, uh, they can be quite awkward to get up there. Uh, so, so some help there would certainly be beneficial. It's turned out swell.